six of the fantasy football season. Here's a few quarterbacks I look to drop this week. The first guy, Trevor Lawrence of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence here, he got off to a good start the first few weeks of the season, but the last two weeks here, he's done nothing for fantasy owners, and he's a hard play to own now. He had a good matchup in week five versus Houston. He didn't do anything. And in week four in tough weather conditions, he had a bad ball game versus Philly. So right now, he's been struggling the last two ball games. Week six, not a great matchup at Indianapolis, even though in week two, he had a good ball game, 235 pass yards, two touchdowns. But right now, he's not hitting on all cylinders with his wide receivers. And Christian Kirk, we even saw him got shut down in that week five ball game. So right now, well, his number one weapon in Christian Kirk isn't getting anything going. And he's been struggling at quarterback. Trevor Lawrence right now is a quarterback. I looked to drop this week. No doubt about it. You can revisit him later on into the season. But the next few weeks here, pretty mediocre to tough matchups in Indianapolis. Week seven versus the Giants. And week eight versus Denver with those teams playing well versus quarterback. So this week here, if you could get a Geno Smith or a better option on the waiver wire, I would drop Lawrence for that this week. The next guy too with Tyler Viglia of the Dolphins. So right now, a lot of people waiting out to uh, to see if he'll come back or not in the next few weeks. But right now, he's not ready to do football stuff. Mike McDaniel, the head coach of the Miami Dolphins said. And I think Tua could possibly miss the whole season. It was a bad hit, obviously. Very concerned in the way it went down and stuff. And they're not going to rush this guy back. Right now, the Dolphins, I know, lost two in a row. And they got quarterback problems with Teddy Bridgewater banged up as well. And Skywood Thompson, obviously not the answer, the rookie quarterback. But right now, two is not doing any football things. I doubt he's going to even be back earliest if he comes back this season. I think week nine, week ten at best here for Tua. But right now, if you need the roster spots, you need some depth, especially with bye weeks kicking in now. I would drop Tua this week if you don't have IR spots. The next third and final quarterback I look to drop this week is Matthew Stafford of the Los Angeles Rams. So Matthew Stafford, it's been very tough for him over the last few weeks here. But right now, we'll see if he could get anything going versus the Carolina Panthers, which they're not a great defense and their team that just fired their head coach in my rule. But right now, Matt Stafford's not doing anything the last three weeks. And he's tough to own. Week three at Arizona, 249 pass yards, two rushing yards in that one. Week four at San Francisco, 254 pass yards in it, though, and a fumble loss. And week five versus the Cowboys, he went for 308 yards with a touchdown and in it, though, and two fumble losses. So the offensive line's in shambles. He really has no weapons but Cooper Cup and Tyler Higby. Allen Robinson's been a disappointment. And I'm going to talk about him a little bit later in wide receivers to drop. So right now, Stafford has Carolina coming up and then a bye. So right now, he's usable for this week. I have him as a start. But after that, he's a guy definitely droppable. So I would drop Matt Stafford this week. So that's a few quarterbacks I look to drop here for week six of the fantasy football season.